Okay, let's talk about Zelda. So it's not a reaction, but I've had time to think about it, and uh, there's a lot of stuff to talk about here. This won't take too long though, so let's just jump right into it. So, Al Newman came out, he talked about Zelda, but the important part is he showed some real gameplay. And that part I was worried about originally because they haven't really shown that much yet. But there's a lot of stuff to be excited about. So I'm not gonna lie. I, I played Horizon Zero Dawn, played Xenoblade 3. I've had my fill of like open world games. And when Breath of the Wild came out, I played the living hell out of that game. And at the start, when you first played Breath of the Wild, you all remember there was lots of wonder and mystery figuring out all the physics and stuff. But by the time as you get to the end, you have everything down to a science. Like, at the start of the game, you're learning about making fire to make thermals and stuff. And by the end of the game, you like any fire weapon on your back melts things. You had little shortcuts to do things. And some of some of you actually made vehicles already in Breath of the Wild. So I actually wasn't super excited just to be thrown back in the world because I thought all that wonder would be gone. But like some of this stuff they added. Oh, my God. <laughs> So, they have the recall ability here, and they, you know, they primarily show Link using this to go back up to the Sky Islands, which is cool, but it's like, what are the limitations of that? Can you use that on anything? Can you use that on enemies? Can you use that on the projectiles they use? Can you throw a sword through an enemy and then pull it back through the enemy? There's, there's a lot you could do with just that one alone, but that's not even the big one. We'll get there in a minute. Whew. Other thing I was surprised about, I thought the game got delayed for so long, like like six years. Oh, Dragon's still there. I thought it got delayed because like, maybe the Switch could not handle going between the land and the sky area like that without like a loading screen or something there. But it seems like it handles it well. Like you see later he skydives down and you just kind of go up. Monolith Soft is helping them out, so they might be using some sort of trickery, like when everything goes all black and white, go into special frame rate mode so that everything runs fine, but whatever. Looks good. Looks good. All right. So thus far, the only thing I see different, you know, clothes a little different. The paraglider has some, like, tasks on it. That, that's all just dressing. I wasn't excited yet. Wasn't excited yet. And even here, you see this enemy? He's just kind of... Look, I'm a little robot dude. That's kind of, but we had like the guardians before, which were more intimidating looking than these guys. The only special trait about these guys is they appear to pick up random stuff and fight you with that, which could be interesting in just the fact that, you know, it makes battles unique, but it could be kind of lame if they don't have like, you know, better weaponry though. <laughs> but here, here, right here, right here, this thing. This, this, <laughs> this, <laughs> okay. So they have this fuse ability, which I thought they were just gonna, I, I thought there'd be something like that, like glue or something to stick crap together to make vehicles. But the fact that you could use it on your weapons, shields, maybe even your clothing, is huge <laughs> it's huge because like i think they're gonna be less weapons in general in this zelda game because they're gonna want to encourage you to just macgyver your way through hyrule this time which i'm all about um like they had the trials of the sword before and they had Windtail island where they took all your stuff away and made you kind of have to jerry rig stuff to like survive and this seems like the whole game is that, and those were honestly the, the most fun parts of Breath of the Wild. So, this, this is good. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> like, all right. But uh, what I'm wondering is like, so you can combine, so you had tons and tons of useless crap in your bags. And now it seems like, it all seems like the same stuff. Like the bat wings, the eyes, all the monster parts, all that stuff. But they seem to have given everything a function. Which is great, because, like, now, that's, like, 
in, in the first game, you had the DLC, you had they got a, you had a motorcycle, and all that useless stuff was just like motorcycle fuel because you didn't care, you didn't need to sell it, you were done at that point, you were beyond the economy of the game. But now giving each thing like a specific function, that wonder is back. There's gonna be a good like three hours of just experimenting, sticking crap together, and seeing what you can do. It's like if I put a stake on an arrow and shoot it at a bear. Will that bring the bear toward me or toward an enemy? If I shoot, like, can I shoot a stake, like, into a dude and a bear chase a guy? Because that could be pretty entertaining. <laughs> Even these homing arrows, like, so a big question I have is, like, so, so far you see them fuse two items. Is it just two things? Can you fuse three things? Because, like, can you make, like, a homing bomb arrow or, like, homing electric arrows? Because, like, that'd be cool. Cause like you see him using the mushroom here and it's like, oh, and there's crazy wacky stuff, but like, it's all, it's all functional. So you, you got like the smoke that comes out and they're also revealing that Link has like stealth attacks, like little assassination strikes, which is, which is great by the way, cause it's gonna get, make stealth way, a way better option earlier on when you're weaker and have like tree branches and crap as weapons, which is, which is, which is good design. But like, if you put, that puff mushroom on like a boomerang. Could you just surround yourself in the whole area and smoke real quick? Can you make bomb boomerangs? Can you make bomb puff boomerangs? I want to know. And like the fact that I want to know, they they they, they did it. They brought back that like the wonder confusing part, even for people who played the hell out of Breath of the Wild, there's something to come back here for. And if you haven't played Breath of the Wild, you're gonna be playing this for days. Probably in the first area, just exploring yourself, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> and like, you see, the, 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 he makes a boat here, and there's like conveniently like things you could use to make sails and things like fans and motors they put around because they want you to craft, they want you to make stuff. And I'm like, can I make a mech, like ye old mech? Like, just if I have if I have propulsion, I have motors. Can I make like a rudimentary like mech or at least like a trebuchet? Some sort of weaponry I can roll around in? <laughs> and I think the answer is yes. And that's very exciting. Now the other thing he's doing here is he's picking up these logs and putting them into the in the water. It, you'll notice like when people play Breath of the Wild, the first one, like hardcore, they had to use magnesis because you had most control over metal and you had to manipulate metal things and kind of push items together with the metal ones. But now it looks like you can just straight up just telekinesis on everything. And that opens up a lot of possibilities because people broke the first game in half. They put bombs and shields together and blow themselves into the air and send themselves sailing miles and miles away. Now that they have like telekinesis over literally any object the speed run for this game is going to be like less than an hour and it's going to be exciting to watch <laughs> there's going to be like a vehicle you could make to get to the end of the game if you just have the right materials and the right know-how and that's going to make this very very exciting <laughs> now the other thing about this is can this fall apart? Is this guaranteed to work? Or are we gonna get lots of hilarious YouTube clips of people making vehicles and going off cliffs or like fans flying off and horrible accidents? Cause that's gonna be great. I had plenty of accidents on a motorcycle. I wish I had recorded, I recorded a couple, but like with people making flying machines and stuff, like can you be shot down? Cause <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> but yeah, 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 I am very excited. I saw the fuse ability, paused the video, and immediately pre-ordered the game. You might be wondering why I didn't do that earlier. I was actually going to wait and see what people thought, because I know Tears of the Kingdom was going to be DLC for Breath of the Wild originally, and I wasn't super enthused, but this, this, this got me enthused. Speaking of which, so you have this ascend ability. You can jump through ceilings, and... He does some crazy crap. Like one, it lets you super jump. So like the even if the roof is like several feet higher than you, you can just jump right up to it and through it, which is absurd. And he does this thing here where if there's a place under like a little overhang or like a cave, you can go in there and use it to quickly climb mountains and stuff, which gives caves more purpose now. I assume there'll be more of them. 
But this, you said it has some limitations, but he doesn't go into it. There's not enough time. Define ceiling. Like, if I make a vehicle that's just, the sole purpose is just to attach a ceiling to anything, can we, like, make Link super jump through, through like, absurd heights and through, like, because, like, he says you need, like, a cave, right? But what if you made, like, a hallway out of, like, wood and just, like, jammed it next to the mountain <laughs> and, like, I don't know, just, like, jumped up through, like, you bring your own ceiling with you? Just thoughts like that make this very, very exciting <laughs> again. And you see the enemies holding their own fused weapons, so, like, I don't know what's going on with them. I hope Zelda's not fused to some part of Link's gear, because, like, I hear you... Link, she's talking to Link telepathically. I hope they're not doing a bionic commando where she's part of his arm or anything, but we'll see. You win some, you lose some. And this, this Skyward Sword-esque diving... Might easy like. <laughs> Might easy like. So, um, I'm gonna sit here and go back and forth and look through the skydiving and see what I can identify that is different on the map. And any other secrets besides that? This game is gonna be awesome. I don't know if we'll play it, but I will, I will be playing it for days. I don't know why that water didn't kill him immediately, but we're gonna have a good time. It's gonna be good. If you want me to do Zelda on the channel, let me know. Like any Zelda at all, just, I like them all. I even like Skyward Sword, so just let me know and I will get back to you. <laughs> this is a good day. This is a good day. <laughs> Woo. The only thing that's bad is that the pre-order has that Zelda spoon. That thing is lame. <laughs> that thing is lame. <laughs> but all right, y'all be good. Be safe, be well, and goodbye. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna be so good.